summer is in full swing. A lot of us are traveling more. We're spending the days out. We're doing the zoo, hiking, swimming, all of the above. <laughs> oh yeah. And um, when you're out, you know, sometimes you need something to eat. So we are going to help you today. Try to keep your focus and stay less stressed about snacking with some of our crazy lazy snack ideas for the summer. Great topic. One of my favorite topics. My crazy snack ideas involve a lot of planning ahead. Um, making sure that you're really getting complex carbohydrates, uh, protein and or fats, because you feel fuller longer, you feel more satiated, and you don't have those binge attacks that can happen at the end of the day, and you're not stressed. So my snacks are a little bit more labor intensive, I think, than Tammy's are, but I don't mind at all. It doesn't take that much time, and a lot of times I make extra batches, so I have you know them for two or three days later, kind of mm -hmm. on the lazy side, like mm -hmm. you. <laughs> Thanks for teaching me that. So um, some of my snacks that I have kind of pulled out here, one of my favorite snacks is egg salad. I love eggs, it's high in protein. I like throwing onions and stuff in there, maybe some veginase and some uh, you know mustard just to kind of beef it up a little bit. And I put on Ezekiel bread with heirloom tomatoes, and sometimes I use kale collard greens, just some kind of dark leafy greens, can be lettuce or spinach. And I put it together and I cut it into four little pieces and I put it in a little Tupperware so that we can all have a little, you know, nibble at the beach or wherever we are. Looks so um, good. I know, it's delicious. <laughs> and then another one of my favorite ideas is uh, making my own hummus. Uh, like I said, a little bit more labor intensive maybe than buying hummus. You can also buy it, but I like to make it from uh, chickpeas and just, you know, put different ingredients in there, which you'll get at the end. And then we like to cut up vegetables and it makes it more fun. It makes kind of dresses up the vegetable, makes mm -hmm. it taste a little bit more, you know. Interesting. Interesting, yeah. exactly. Mm -hmm. And then we just take these and dip it in and eat it and, and it's, it's like a finger food. Very simple to do. And then the third idea that we love to do, it looks like a little cake or something. I have an apple I sliced horizontal? Yeah. Yeah, horizontally. Yeah. And I put um, almond butter inside and then some chia seeds and hemp seeds just for e extra fats mm -hmm. and um, a little bit of cinnamon. So it's kind of fun. My daughter loves so eating cute. these because it's kind of like a little apple pizza. And those are some of my snack ideas. Tammy, what do you have? I love that one. Um, yeah, so I do a lot of these things too. Um, I also do like, instead of an egg salad, maybe I'll do like a hard boiled egg. Yeah. <laughs> that would be more of a lazy option. Absolutely. Um, but sometimes I, I don't always have the time or I can't be bothered to uh, make something. So I think it's always good to have some more store-bought versions Next hand. that you can rely on if you need to. Totally. The only issue with some of those is you have to be careful about some of the added ingredients. You don't always know what's in there. Yeah. So I wanna talk about some of our favorites that we sort of, we like to do in our families and uh, what you should be looking for if you wanna do these yourself. So one of our favorites is these uh, fruit bars. Um, they come in all these different flavors. My kids love these. And what we like about these is that they're just made of fruit. There's no extra sugars, there's no food coloring, Perfect. additives, things like that. So they're, they're really good. Um, and then another thing you can do that's really easy is always just dried fruit. So these are just raisins. You can go a little crazier, get like dried mangoes or something. There's even the, uh, the crunchy version. You can get apple chips. Um, and now both these, again as well, only have one ingredient. So this, the only thing in here is raisins, the only thing in here is apples, there's no added sugar, there's no sulfites, Perfect. anything like that. So look for as few ingredients as you possibly can. Good tip. Um, I also like brown rice rice cakes. Um, okay. They're plain, these are not the flavored version, so yeah. literally just brown rice. Um, and then you can uh, fancy them up on your own, however you want to. You can add some almond butter or maybe even some raw local honey and a little cinnamon is really nice that on them if you've got delicious. a sweet craving. Um, so those are really nice and easy. Um, and then finally, I also like seaweed snacks. And these are something that not everybody likes. They have a, more of a distinct flavor, uh, but I love them. And especially, you know, some of these are a little more sweet. This is a, more of a, a savory, salty kind of flavor. And uh, they're fantastic and easy to and just Great to bring you. when you're sweating a lot, get some more salt and exactly. minerals back in your body. Exactly. Huh? Yep. Awesome, Tammy, thanks. <laughs> those are great ideas. And I do some of those too, so I'm not always making my own food, so don't get me wrong. So we do crisscross each other's paths sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Whichever way you choose, you're getting your nutrients every couple of hours through the day, which in the long run, it doesn't just um, keep you consistent with your eating, but it makes your kids happy, your whole family happy, and it definitely saves you money. Yeah. And what I like about all these options here too is that they're good for the kids. They're also good for the moms. They're really great snacks for the whole family. So that means um, it makes it a little easier on you too. Like you're not making different snacks for different people. Yeah. These are things you can all just eat together wherever you are out and about. And when you're out and about, you're not that picky, I'm sure. Yeah. If you're hungry, you're gonna eat whatever's on hand. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so now it's your turn. Did you learn anything about snacking today that you didn't know before, maybe? 
And what are some of your creative snack ideas? We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, post in the comments and let us know. And if you like this video, make sure you share it, subscribe to our channel, and then head over to www.crazylazywellness.com and get yourself on the mailing list. We'll see you again next time. Bye. Let's try what it is. <laughs>